All right, fellas. Well, we have the news. Joel Embiid is going to be out two to four weeks. He is in concussion protocol and needs surgery. So, on his orbital bone. Before we begin, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe, comment if you'd like to because I enjoy speaking with you guys. Now, I... <laughs> That's what I have for you. I don't know. I'm bummed. I mean, there's two weeks left of the season. Can I really see Joel Embiid not playing because of a uh, orbital bone after surgery? I mean, if he gets it right now, it's March 29th. He has time, right? I mean, he's got time. Tell me he's got time. Tell me he has time. Tell me he has time. Please. I don't know what to do. I mean, I just watched the Phillies game, and it was the most stressful, hideous, managed game I've ever watched in my life. And I upload the video to see the news on Joel Embiid. And I really, I mean, come on. You really think he's not going to be available for the playoffs? Do you think this team isn't going to allow him to play with a mask or something, right? There has to be a way to let this man play in the playoffs. Two to four weeks. I, I, I mean, uh. I'm sick to my stomach. I, I mean, this is raw. This is raw right now. I mean, I just found out when I uploaded my last video. And I, I just don't know what to think. I have no idea what to think right now. Are, are we screwed? Are we screwed without Joel Embiid? Were the Eagles screwed without Carson Wentz? I mean, I don't know. Right? I, I mean, I look at that and say, Carson Wentz went out and I cried my eyes out and I said, there's no way we win this Super Bowl. Here comes Nick Foles. I mean, I never thought we were ready to win the championship anyway. Can we compete with the Houston right now? Or a healthy Golden State Warriors with Joel Embiid healthy? I, I would like to say, yeah, but I don't, I don't know if they're absolutely 100% ready right now. But without Joel Embiid... Are we going to, I don't think we can win an Eastern Conference Championship. This man needs to be back. And I, I, there's no way that this training staff doesn't do everything that they possibly can to get him back on the floor as soon as possible. There's no way he's not, if he didn't already have surgery last night, he's not having it right now at this very moment. Because it left in the season, there's about two weeks left. Right? I mean, come on. This can't be happening. Why does this always happen to us? Right now, I'm going to Google the first day of the NBA playoffs. First day of NBA playoffs. I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. Saturday, April 14th. That is legitimately two weeks and two days away. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think the situation is at this point? I mean, we know he's apparently, Bleacher Report let it out, he's going through concussion protocol, which is weird to me because they've stated after the game that there was no concussion. So that is weird to me. And there was a fractal, fracture with the orbital bone and, and he needs surgery out two to four weeks at the earliest. Uh, I'm I'm pissed. I mean, this is sickening. I don't really know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. Is this team screwed without Joel Embiid? It's hard to say. No, they're not screwed. I saw some tweets saying this is a chance for Ben Simmons to step up. I, I mean, this is crucial. You're talking about somebody who dominates down low dominates the big man role. Is Amir Johnson going to step in and do the same thing? That's what I think about when I compare the Carson Wentz to Nick Foles. Am I overreacting? Is he going to be back in time? I can't imagine a face keeping a competitor like Joel Embiid out for playoffs. The man is going to play if the whole concussion thing is out of the question. Because, you know, when it comes to the concussion in professional sports, it's tough to get around that. But when it comes to just... Uh, 
a recovery of a face thing, the man's got to play. So now that I'm thinking about it, I'm changing it. There is no other option. There is no other option. There's no, oh, will Amir Johnson step up? <laughs> it's funny to think about that. But but there's no other option. The, the one option is this man is going to play. He has to play. My second Joel Embiid ran in the same day. I I was I made a video begging for somebody to tell me news. I need the Sixers staff to tell me news. Well, here it is, bro. It's, they gave it to you. They told you. And it was something you didn't want to hear. Oh, two to four weeks, huh? This stinks. I mean, this stinks. I'm I'm crushed. I'm crushed. And and, and you're throwing this on me right after. A Philadelphia Phillies loss like that in that fashion. I don't I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I mean that just killed my mojo. It killed my mojo. It's a thirsty Thursday and my mojo is killed. Damn. Alright, well, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you'd like to. I I, I need to know everyone's thoughts on this. This is killing me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.